It's week one of the NFL, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Cowboys and the Giants under the lights on Sunday night. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener of the 2023 NFL season as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday looking at two teams with great expectations here. The Giants defense ready to go here in the Sunday night opener to this new season. And the one we'll be watching is this man at corner. And boy, has his game grown. When he came into the league, we knew he could play zone and make plays looking back into football. But his man-to-man -man skills have increased so much that his defensive coaches have been more aggressive up front and left him on an island more often. Now a man who's taking the reins with the Cowboys. It's Tony Pollard. And really a nice job there to make something out of that run. Sidestepping defenders for a pickup of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Going to run again here with Pollard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Boy, I tell you, the schedule makers got it right here in week one. A lot of great games today. And another Buffalo and the Jets right here in this very stadium tomorrow night. Won't that be fun? But of these two teams, Charles, Giants and Cowboys, which one do you think is the bigger threat to Philadelphia in the NFC East? As we start here right now, it's got to be Dallas. How explosive are they offensively? Extremely. And on the defensive side of the ball, they take it away from teams. But don't count out the Giants. Their defense, they get after you with a lot of pressure. And if their quarterback continues to grow, look out. The Giant defense ready to go to work. They've got the upper hand in terms of field position as this drive starts inside the offense's 10-yard line. Prescott on play action. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Here's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 30 big ones. Well, he reminded us that he was a thousand yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Second and seven. To throw is Prescott. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Completes it left side to the tight end, Lewis. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. At the 46-yard line. Now Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Now that's a catch of some significance. It's number 631 of his career, and why that's significant, it ties him with Hall of Famer Raymond Barry. Who was one of the most precise route runners at any position during his time in his career. So I think that we're seeing something very similar here. He may not have known Raymond Barry, but he goes about his business the same way. Understands how defenses are going to play, understands where the leverage is, and goes away from it to the tune of 631 catches. Prescott now on second down. 
Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 24-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Looking to throw, Prescott. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Now a second and ten. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back into 24. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari getting in there to bring him down. Ojolari continuing to look like a real presence for the Giants. Five and a half sacks and three force fumbles in only seven games in 2022. Let's see what the pace looks like for him if he's able to avoid the injury bug. The Giants defense back out there once more. They just got the benefit of a beautiful punt a moment ago. So this offense backed up down by their own goal line to start this possession. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second down, Pollard again. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lewis. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be fourth down. A cool little accomplishment for him passing the football. 25,000 yards. He just surpassed that for his career. When he was a little guy in the backyard just throwing it around probably with his dad, he thought about playing in the NFL. He dreamed of it. But to put up these kind of numbers while doing so, that's got to be kind of cool. 
The Giant defense ready to go to work. Their guys have the lead here in this first half, and they'll try to further the cause on their end as this drive begins first and ten. A first down throw for Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with the ground. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A second down throw for Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 31-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Gallup with the catch there and coming off of a tough 2022. He was still recovering from a torn ACL and ended up with the fewest yards in the season of his career. The Cowboys know he's capable of much more as he showed there. Got his man there complete to Gallup. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Second and a couple. To the air again, Prescott. Throw right side taken in by Gallup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. The Giants defense back out there once more. They hold the lead here in this third quarter, but every drive important in a one-score game as this one begins first and ten here. Prescott now from the 50. And the Giant rush gets home as down he goes. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one, just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. They go play action with Rush. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Pollard will take it up to the line. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Here's Pollard again. And this Giants defense getting off the ball quickly. They stop him behind the line again. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. The 
third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The giant defense ready to go to work. They've been terrific all game long, have not let this offense get on track, and they try to close this one out here in the fourth. Rush to throw on first down. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. C.D. Lamb is intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Back to throw rush. Open there, right side, it's laying. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Gets past one man. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. And if you're thinking field goal from here, it's 48 yards. I think they'd like to get him a little help now on third down and move it closer. Giants get there. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Giants defense back out there once more. They're out there trying to protect this fourth quarter lead. So this a big drive as it begins first and ten. Rush with it on first down. And Cooks has it over the middle. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to thank the guys on the team. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. 
First down now for Rush. Into the hands of Cooks. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They gotta find a way to gash the defense downfield. They come up now on second and two. Here's Rush. Out of his hands, over to C.D. Lamb. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 42. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. I'm starting to wonder here, are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking them apart, moving the ball down. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Well, partner, that'll do it. These week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea.